Welcome to Yippee ki -Yay Namaste Yoga with Cheryl Crawford and the students from Fernbank Elementary School in Atlanta, Georgia. It's time for yoga where we tune into ourselves, practice moving with our breath, and end each gathering with a Yippee ki -Yay Namaste. Yippee ki -Yay means joy, and it is our right to feel joy. Namaste means the goodness in me sees the goodness in you. When we tune into our inner joy, we're able to sense that light inside and see it in others as well. So get real, get ready. We're heading into the studio. So unroll your mat, sit comfortably. Yoga is ready to start. Hi, and welcome to Yippee Kaye Namaste. Today I'm joined with Anaya, and she'll be co teaching with me to celebrate the energy center of our throat, of the color blue. Blue like the sky, blue like the ocean, that vast depth in our throat, so that we know that we have the right to be heard. We have the right to speak, and we have the right for other people to hear our truth. It helps us with trust and loyalty. Together with us today, we have our yogis from Fernbank Elementary joining us. Jack, Audrey, Sasha, Zoe, Albert, Brooklyn, and Alexis. Bring your hands at your heart and your belly. Close your eyes if you can. Tune into the sound of the singing bowl. Place your hands together right at your heart. Press your thumbs into your sternum and your fingers straight up. May our practice today help us know that we have the right to speak, that we have the right to be heard, that the energy around our throat feels vast like the ocean in the sky. May we know where else in our body, in our mind, in our heart, we need that energy of blue, of trust, of loyalty, of openness, of space. I invite you to tune in with a commanding mantra that commands us to our inner knowing and our inner truth. It's Ong Namo. Guru Dev Namo. Three times. Inhale to prepare. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Full breath in. Feel how your heart lifts up. Feel your throat open. Keep that as you exhale. Bow your head to your heart, feeling the space between your head and your heart, your throat, the vastness of your throat, spacious. You can keep your eyes closed or open them. Bring one hand in front of your throat, one hand behind. I invite you to tune in with this mantra to help us know that we have the right to be heard and speak the truth. As you breathe in, say, blue. 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 As you breathe out, true. True. Breathe in, blue. blue. Breathe out, true. true. One more, breathe in, blue. blue. Breathe out, true. true. Bring your hands together at your heart and prepare to start your flow. Come to your mat to come on your mat to on a standing come come to a standing position. Bring your hands bring your hands in front of you and take a short breath in. Bring your hands down the side of you and take a short breath in. Bring your hands to the sky and take a short breath in. And as we breathe out, we're gonna make that and make a 
sound. <sighs> Move with your breath. Do three, five times. Last one. Stay in your forward fold. Feel your feet. Feel what that did. It's breath of joy. Yoga is a science and an art. See if that helped you come more to your birthright, the feeling of joy, the state of joy. Bring your hands to your hips. Come all the way up to standing. So now we're going to do wake, wake Up Mountain. Act like you have zippers on your mouth but every time you unzip them, a very funny laugh comes out. From high pitched, from high pitched to low pitched. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Be like a shy giggle and then burst it out, ready? <laughs> and hear the sound of your laughter. Sometimes we don't feel like laughing, but laughter yoga, it's a thing. And we laugh, we fake laugh, and our body really likes that. It nourishes our body. And from there, we actually most often have a real laugh, right? Can we do it one more time? Will you lead us one more? <laughs> <laughs> so the next post will be laughter milkshake. Spre spread your legs wide, not too wide so you can so you slip and you're not grounded enough, but not too together so that you don't feel as open in your legs. Act like you're holding cups in your hand. And in order to get the, the whole glass of laughter milkshake into the other glass, you have to say the sound, I eep. I eep. I eep. I eep. I eep. Stir up the laughter milkshake and throw it onto yourself on your head anywhere to make yourself laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Next we're gonna do it next and then we're gonna do it again. I I I This time when you stir up the laughter milkshake, act like someone's right in front of you and pour the laughter milkshake on them because you think they need laughter. <laughs> 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 so, and next we're going to do Oopa Loopa. Come, come bring your legs together like an 11 and squat down. Act like you have zippers in the middle of your mouth and you're in the middle of a wedding, but you can't laugh until people <laughs> laugh because you, because then people will, then people will hear you. <laughs> and and that and then the wedding was over <laughs> next you're gonna do over the rainbow come into down dog Then come in to plank. Stack, stack um, your most comfortable leg over the other leg and flip over to the side. Bring your arm to the side on your waist, on your waist, hands on your hip. And then when you feel that you have enough balance there, you can bring your arm up to the sky. If you think you have enough balance time for a challenge, you need you could bring your you could bring your leg up to the sky as well as your arm. 
You can also bring your top foot down if it's too challenging. Good. Now we're going to do the other side. Come back into plank and flip over to the other side that you didn't do. Ground your feet. It might be harder this time. Oh, because it's, it's not the side that's easier. Yeah. Yeah. But try the challenge if you feel like you're grounded enough. If you're not grounded enough, you cannot. You don't have to stack your legs. You can just bring the most, the top leg, and and the back on, on the back. Come back into table. Come into table, and next we're going to do. We will rock you. Come onto your belly, and flat like a pancake. Bend your knees so that you can take, pick, take them with your hands. Stretch your shoulder, stretch up, and start rocking whichever way you want to, front to back, side to side. Feel comfortable. Wash out all your doubts and splotches, splotches of how you cannot speak easy and you want to be able to speak easy, so you can make noises here. Yeah, you can. Some of you might grunt. Some of you might laugh. See what noise wants to come out of your throat. Sometimes it's a noise that's blocked or stuck. <laughs> come back into flat like a pancake. Next, we're gonna do cat cow. Let's rest for a few moments and feel that. Stack your hands under your forehead. Feel that, and feel with the feel quality. Feel the power and feel the power of the pose. Do so you think it's a powerful pose? Yeah, feel that. Because you're opening your belly, your heart, your throat. I couldn't tone it all. <laughs> <laughs> Rest here for a few moments. Think how that these poses have changed you so far. You may have been calm and got some energy or energy and got some more energy, but it was yoga energy, not sweets energy. <laughs> Come into table for cat cow. So when you, so when you, so act like a cow, you, you're broad and happy, and you have your chest stretched out, and you, and you feel, and you say yes there, but when you curl up on your back, you say no, like a cat. Say it out loud. No. Yes. Yes. Now we're going to do, when you come into cow, you're going to say true, and when you curl up on your back, you're going to say blue. True. Blue. True. Blue. True. Blue. Last one. True. Blue. Come into flat, like a, come on your belly. Come to your knees, like your, if you don't feel comfortable sitting on your knees, you can like spread them out. So come to sitting on your knees. You can sit on your knees too. If you don't feel comfortable like this, you can do this. It might be harder. But if you're like this, have your heel line up with your second toe. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you're gonna act like you're grabbing a very big cake from the highest shelf and bringing it down, and it's laughter cream. So you have to open the jar's bottle, and everywhere you put it, you have to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, now put it where you think you need it most. <laughs> the place you feel that's most stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Close the jar 
and send it back up in the universe to make it into something else great. Come to a standing position on your mat. This is called whistle while you work. You know how you whistle sometimes and you and you and like when you're like when you may be doing your chores and then you just start whistling somehow. That's mm -hmm. how we're this is what we're gonna do, except we're not gonna do chores. <laughs> <laughs> so bring your hands like um and interlace them so like you have your arms on on your elbows and then you just start whistling but if you can't whistle that's okay you can hum and just come on your tippy and come on your tippy toes on your heels um, and yes so next we're gonna do don't rock the boat come into flat like a pancake I mean on your back come on 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 your back and then and then take your front side and let your front side come up so, and so you and like, like, come in to lighten up. Br bring your legs up to lighten up, and then bring your hands up too. Like, with play, like playing with fire. Mm. To bring your torso up. You want to show them? So balance. So you're gonna like balance on your basement, and you're gonna try to not fall off. <laughs> should we say ha? Huh? How many times should we say it? Um. A hundred? No. How many? Ten. Ten? Ready? From your belly. Ha! 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 Full breath in. And breathe out. This is probably the 100th time I've said come into flat like a pancake. But please come to flat like a pancake and, and act like you're going to flip over on the griddle. <laughs> flip over to your back. Like if you were pancake and getting flipped <laughs> over to the griddle. <laughs> and then bring your feet into lighten up. And hold on to your feet. If you can't, just bend your toe, bend your knees, and giggle like a baby, make baby sounds. You can open up your knees. You can rock back and forth. I do. People let, do you, are you generally a, 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 able to talk baby talk? Sometimes no. Yeah. So go ahead and do it. Let all those baby sounds out. This baby got back. And then we brought them back. <laughs> we'll take a minute in this position. <laughs> okay, lower your feet down. Do the twist. So for do the twist, we're going to be on our back. And we're going to twist. We're going to make our, we're going to bend our knees and move them to your comfortable side on your mat and move your head the opposite way and bring your arms out wide. This is called do the twist. Now we're going to switch sides. So switch your head the way that your knees were and switch your knees the way that your head was. Okay, we're going to rock up. Let's rock and roll up to the to, up to mountain position. Should we work on a couple poses? Yeah. Which ones? I think we should work on Oompa Loompa and Don't Rock the Boat. Okay, Oompa Loompa. So let's watch Anaya and Albert and see what you can do with a partner. If you don't have a partner, go grab one. You have a few moments. You guys find a partner, please? Okay, Albert, will you come into Oompa Loompa facing Anaya? Okay. 
So make sure your partner has their legs together and their feet together if possible. If not, you can have them hip distance apart, but you don't want your, your knees to come in. Albert likes to put his hand behind his head so that he can keep his throat really open. Anaya, can you please squat down and grab hold of his calves right here, like the meaty part of his calves here on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you want to take hold with your palms and really so that really pull here from your palms so your partner can trust you. And as you pull, they can lean back and lean back in the feeling of trust. How does that feel, Albert? It's kind of painful since after you put all my body weight onto my legs. Yeah, so you really feel your legs. It's not that comfortable, but you get an opening. And before, so you don't want to just drop them because this is all about true and trust. So when you're ready to release, let, let your partner know you're ready. And then come to standing. Namaste, your partner. Okay, you guys want to try it? Yes. All right, so we'll all be there to help you. So Anaya, you can go with Zoe. And Albert, you can come here with Alexis. And I'll come here. So one of you come into Oompa Loompa. And so if you're helping, me and Anaya and um, Albert will stand behind them. Okay, so Sasha, come help Alexis and hold on to the, the calves. Make sure that they're holding on. So down here, the calves. Hold on to the calves and really pull. Make your feet steady and pull. And then uh, if you're in the pose, lean back. Lean back a little bit more than you want to. Maybe, and if you're pulling, maybe. make sure your palms are down. And you can do what I'm doing. Oh, wow, you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> so you could dare to go a little bit further. Yeah, see where, see where your edge is. As long as you have somebody behind you to help you. Okay, ground into your legs. Come all the way back up. Thank your partner. Okay, and what was the other pose you said? Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat. Okay, so let's switch partners. I'm, I mean, we will rock you. We will rock you. Okay, come into your belly. Okay, and let's show with Anaya and Albert what to do. So Albert, lift your knees. And come behind Albert. And can you hold on to his the front of his shoulder? So squat down. Show how you squat down. So she comes on either side. She squats down. And then you talk to your partner. And I they'll did. let you know when it's enough. I think this is enough. That's enough. So your heart gets open. Your throat gets open. And you stay there. You keep your hands there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then once they have that, say maintain that. And now hold on to their feet. So keep your heart open. Hold on to where their feet and hands are and tell her when that's enough. That's enough. That's enough? Okay, and slowly let them come down and rest. Do you guys wanna try it? Yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay, so let's switch partners. And we'll all help you. So first do the shoulder. So if we're helping, Anaya and Albert, you can come in front to make sure they're using their palms and not just their fingers. So Alexis, your palm. Your whole palm and talk to your partner. See when that's enough? Yeah. And Jack, bend your knees so you're in a squat so you stay safe. Okay, then hold on to their feet. And talk to your partner so they know, so they can trust you. And Jack's rocking Zoe a little bit. You can rock, talk to your partner and see what your partner would like to do so that your throat is much more open. And when you're finished, lie down and receive the benefits of that pose for an opening. <laughs> and yes, I like how you're namasteing your partner. Another thing you can do is watch this. Albert, will you come to this mat? Anaya, will you come to this mat? And let's see if we can get the greatest yogi of all time here at this AIB. Jeff, will you come help us? This is something that we can do. <laughs> He's coming. The greatest yogi of all time is here, Jeff. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna squat down and take hold of our partner. So Albert, bend your knees and watch us at the count of three. We're gonna lift them up. Ready? One, two, three, and you can swing them. <laughs> and you don't wanna drop them down, right? So gently bring them back down. Yeah, and lower your feet. That's something you can do too. Namaste, greatest yogi of all time, Jeff. 
<laughs> okay. So here on your mat, we could try one more thing. Do you want to try one more from Over the Rainbow? Okay. All right. So come into Over the Rainbow. And now you can come right here and Over the Rainbow. So everybody come into it. <clears throat> from Down Dog. Okay. And you can always have your foot in front of you, of course. Ground into your legs. Make sure your throat is open on all sides. Then take one foot behind you. Bring your hand first to your heart, then to your throat, then to even the back of your head and open up into wild thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your heart is open, your throat is open, and if you fall out, you come right back in. Look at you, and your heart is open, your throat is open, think blue, and switch sides. Keeping your throat really open on all sides. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So nice. Good, and gently come out of that. Come into dark seed light that we did in green. Ground your hips down. Stretch your arms out in front. Okay. Walk your hands back toward your knees. Lie down on your back. See, so baby got back one last time. Bend your knees. Hold on to your feet this time quieter. Open up your feet. Instead of making noise, just breathe. And if there's any other movement you need to make before final resting pose, move, listen to your body, be true. Or you might be ready to come into final resting pose. And the resting pose, you can have your legs out with your arms at your side, palms up. If that doesn't work for you, have your knees together, your feet apart. Imagine a yogi coloring your throat with a blue crayon. I hope now, after a practice with me, you are able to speak easy of what you think is right and being able to listen at the correct time. Good. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug for showing up and speaking up. Rock and roll up to sitting. Place your hands together at your heart. Yippee ki yay, namaste. Yippee ki yay, namaste.